Hello everyone, my name is Clayton Schrock, and welcome back once again to 300 Seconds of Science. Let me start this episode by saying, You're being lied to. It's all a lie. Sorry about that. Where was I? Oh, right. Welcome to 300 Seconds of Science. If you watched my past episode of 300 about records, cassettes, and CDs, then you may be aware about my love for science behind day-to-day -day technology and how it's advanced over recent decades. Also, if you haven't watched that episode, I'm not gonna say it doesn't hurt, but please. Go watch it after this. As for this episode, I'll be going over the magic behind CRT TVs. Except, magic isn't real, it's science. Except, this science is also kind of a lie. When you're watching a video, you're really just watching a bunch of pictures. Wait, please, they deserve to know. TV sets generate images by moving a dot of light really quickly. So fast, in fact, to the human eye, it looks like a moving video. CRT stands for cathode ray tube. This is why a common nickname for the TV is a tube TV. Cathode ray tubes are used in a lot of technology other than old TV sets. German scientist Carl Ferdinand Braun invented the first CRT scanning device in 1897. With advancements made by many other scientists, we eventually got the CRT TV that you're familiar with today. I've covered CRTs briefly in a past episode, but I'll go over the basics again here, and specifically the parts that pertain to TVs. A cathode ray tube works from an electron gun shooting electrons down a vacuum tube from a negatively charged cathode to a positively charged anode. This this stream of electrons is what hits your screen and creates a point of light. Magnets are used at the end of the tube to deflect the electrons and control where the light will end up. A coil of magnets in what is called a yoke or deflection coil can move this dot of light down an X and Y axis. When moved along the X axis, or horizontally, the dot is moved so quickly that to the human eye, it looks like a solid line. These horizontal lines are created within microseconds and they run down the screen. The dot moves to the right and down the screen, just like how you read a book. See, mom? Watching TV is kind of like reading. Now, this takes an incredible amount of power to move a point of light across your screen thousands upon thousands of times every second. CRT TV sets in America operate at 60 hertz. This allows the TV to create a full scan in just 1 60th of a second. To best use power, however, the TV actually only creates half the image every 1 30th of a second. This is what gives our TVs a frame rate of 30 frames per second. At first, it only creates the odd number of lines, so the first, third, fifth, and so on. Once the full frame is completed, it then creates the even numbered lines. Another amazing part of CRT TVs is in the color. The electrons in a CRT are always made up of three colors, red, green, or blue. You may be familiar with the term RGB. I know I am. Woo, editor jokes. These three colors are then formed into triangles and given a certain amount of brightness. With a mix of these three colors, almost any color is possible. An interesting fact about a TV's color is that in a way, it's the opposite of painting or drawing. If you start with a blank canvas and no paint, it's white. Then, if you mixed every color together, theoretically, you would get black. With a TV set, no color gives you black, and all three colors give you white. I really only scratched the surface, and the technology is quickly advancing. I wish I could sit here and talk to you more about it all. But as the name of the show goes, that was 300 Seconds of Science. My name's Clayton Schrock, and if you have any science topics you'd like us to cover, be sure to let us know on social media. For science updates and to watch our past episodes, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, give us a heart on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. While you're there, smash that like button. So until next time, go out, enjoy life, stay curious. Hey, you too. I get it now. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.